Robotic exploration is our primary means of scientific observation in highly remote environments. Communication bandwidth limits restrict the amount of interaction between the robot and scientists during a mission, so the robot typically follows pre-planned trajectories. Adaptive planning is much more efficient, but difficult in the context of searching for interesting visual observations in novel environments. Adaptive path planning is relatively easy if the robot knows what kinds of observations are interesting and where it is likely to find more of them. This is difficult to model for images, which are very high dimensional. To overcome this challenge, we have the robot group similar images together by learning a few representative topics that describe them. It is easier to model the distribution and reward of these topics than it is to do so for images. Here we see a visual map of a coral reef and the corresponding topic map based on human annotations. Spatial topic models enable robots to construct maps like this one online. In an environment where things are encountered that have never been seen before, the robot must communicate with the operator to determine which are worthy of closer observation. To do so, it sends the operator example images of various topics and asks them which ones are interesting. But in a low bandwidth environment, the robot must carefully decide what to ask. We explore the problem of how the robot should choose what to send to the operator. This is an online active learning problem. The simplest approach is to always send the most recent image, while another is to send back the images which best help the robot to reduce uncertainty in its reward model. We compare these against a the novel regret-based approach, where the robot asks questions which are immediately useful for helping it to plan a better trajectory. Our experiments were performed in simulation. In the center, you can see a topic map based on a map of real coral reef. The yellow square is a simulated robot, and the faded yellow line is its current planned trajectory. Red pixels represent visited locations with uninteresting observations, and blue represent visited locations that were interesting. The robot uses the regret-based criterion to choose which observations to request labels for. Once a label for an observation is received, the corresponding pixel is highlighted bright blue if it was interesting, and bright orange if it was not. To the top right is a randomly generated interest profile, which shows which topics a simulated operator is most interested in, and in the top left there is an interest map that shows where the interesting observations are. Below are the robot's corresponding predictions, based on the topic map and the observations it has labeled so far. Our simulation results indicate that the regret-based active learning criterion, shown as the red line, is best for maximizing the number of interesting observations that a robot collects in a mission, despite the fact that the uncertainty reduction method does a better job of predicting the operator's interests. 